guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see from the title, I am doing a food haul. An isolation, quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it, food haul. Now, I normally do these videos on the regular, my food hauls, and I know you really like them. But obviously, with everything that's been going on just lately, I haven't. Until now. And even this video, to be honest with you, I was on and R in whether to actually film it and show you guys. Just because... I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of people just being quite negative and they've always got something to say and people just assume the worst all the time and it's so frustrating. But I am trying to keep my content as normal as can be and I know you like a food haul and I really love watching food hauls too so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So before we do get into the video, I just want to say a couple of things just to clear things up. First of all, I am currently self-isolating at home with my mum. Now this was something that a lot of people jumped on me in my last vlog video which was really unfair like i understand people might be like oh why is your mum there that's fair enough ask the question but people weren't asking the question they were just jumping on me in the comments going why is your mum there i've not seen my mum in five weeks la 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 who do you think you are like going against the rules and yeah to read things like that firstly it's obviously just not nice and secondly people just don't know the facts so before they know the facts people should just ask so I'm just gonna tell you now. So my mum actually moved in temporarily to my house four weeks ago. So actually before the lockdown and it all started happening. My mum came to live with me because my dad's a key worker. So he still works. My mum is in remission for cancer. So my mum didn't feel safe living at home with my dad whilst he's still obviously going out with the public and stuff. So she asked me if she could come and move in here, which obviously I said was fine because I have a spare room. So that's the situation with my mum. Mum has been living here for four weeks now. Um, self-isolating with me because obviously my mum is classed as more high risk and then that also leads me on to myself um, I'm at high risk too so I have been advised from my doctors to self-isolate for the whole 12 weeks or whatever it is not to go and do my own shopping um, as you guys know I do already have asthma but it isn't asthma that is the issue it is because they are now suspecting that I've got bronchiectasy now I don't normally like blabber and share my whole medical information on the internet but I'm just that fed up with people not knowing and just looking at me and thinking I'm just a normal healthy girl when actually I've been suffering with respiratory problems for years now um, and I'm still awaiting to see a specialist because with everything going on I just can't at the moment so yeah I struggle on a daily basis with my chest um, I have phlegm I cough up phlegm every day that's just normal for me so yeah I mean I'm not going to have a whole chat about it because this isn't the video to do that in this is a food all but firstly i just wanted to make it clear that me and mom are self-isolating we are both not to go outside and do any food shopping that's what we have both been advised by our doctors so what has been happening is my dad has been doing bits and bobs shopping now for my dad to go and do shopping it's quite hard for him because he has to go and do his own shopping and then he only really grabs us like a milk and the old fruit and veg like he can't really do a whole full shop for us like it's just not really feasible i mean as you guys know apparently like with the supermarkets it's like in and out like supermarket sweep you're not really supposed to dawdle not only that my dad lives in leicester and i obviously live in nottingham so you know it's putting him out having to constantly come and, and drop our food off and whatever so anyway three weeks Weeks ago I managed to get a online shop with Morrison so obviously I jumped at the chance because I'm not supposed to be out doing my food shopping I just thought you know what I'm gonna try and stock up as much as I can not bulk buy there's a complete difference between bulk buying and stocking up guys bulk buying is buying like 10 of everything stocking up is just getting enough that's gonna last me for around about four weeks utilize everything I've got and then that just means I don't have to go out shopping I don't have to put myself at risk um, and also I don't have to take up any more delivery slots like I've had my delivery now and delivery slots are free for other people that are vulnerable and need it too so anyway that is that whole disclaimer a little rant over and done with i'm so sorry that i've had to say all that guys but it's just because it is infuriating people speak to me like i'm thick and i don't know what's going on so anyway guys let's shut up i'm gonna show you what i got from morrison's um i did morrison's this time because morrison's is my local and i normally do most of my shops at morrison's i do love a bit of morrison's let me just shut up and show you okay so this is the food shop like i said there is so much food <laughs> but i'm in hell i think this is like the biggest food shop i have ever ever done um i didn't get so many tins and stuff just because i do still have a few of them but i just didn't really have anything to go with it like meat and vegetables so pretty useless when you've not got any like things to go with so yeah this is all the food i'm going to show you everything i've got and how i'll utilize this and make it last like i said and i just reiterate this will probably 
probably last a good four weeks for me and my mum. Obviously, there's only us two, and we are really sort of like conscious with food and how to um, store it and how to utilise it and not waste it. So I will talk to you a little bit about that. Anyway, let me get in. First thing I got was a cauliflower. Um, I have been absolutely craving a Sunday dinner. So mum and me are gonna do a nice Sunday dinner with some cauliflower cheese. Um, I then picked up a mushroom stir fry kit. I feel like stir fries are a super easy, quick meal to make. Especially for two people as well. It's quite a nice dish to do for two people. Um, so to go with that, we also got some egg noodles and a teriyaki stir fry sauce. Then I picked up some mushrooms. Again, these are really good to back in a stir fry. Um, oh, there's so many things you can do with mushrooms. I always feel like um, just a good essential to have on the food shop. I then picked up a big family pack of bananas because I absolutely love bananas um, and also I've been doing a lot of baking at the moment and like healthy baking and there's a lot of recipes where they use like ripe bananas and things like that so yeah I thought I'd get a big pack one because I do eat a lot of bananas and I've been missing my bananas um, and secondly because there's a lot of recipes that use them as well I then picked up some carrot batons um, I know these things tend to be a little bit wasteful with packaging and plastic um, but yeah, probably shouldn't have got them, it was a bit lazy, but I always like to have carrot buttons to have with hummus. Really easy and quick snack to have if you're hungry during the day. The next thing I got was cucumber. I really wanted to get a ton of salad stuff because obviously the weather's been really nice lately. And as soon as the weather gets a little bit warmer, the meals that I really love to have is sort of like chicken and salad, like just salads with whatever. I love salads. Um, and then to go with my salad as well, I got an Italian style salad, also got some spring onions for the salad, some fresh beetroot, pickled beetroot, oh my goodness, I absolutely love beetroot, it's like one of my favourite things ever. Also got some peppers for the salad and also I feel like peppers go with a lot of things like fajitas, stir fries, so I've got some of those. Then got some of these sweet mini plum tomatoes. These are honestly so nice. You know the ones that are on the vine? I'm really fussy with tomatoes. I don't normally have tomatoes because I don't know if anyone else suffers with this or it's just me. But I have this thing where if I eat tomatoes, like my tongue like flares up and goes like all lump lumpy. Is that really disgusting? Um, when I actually went to the dentist and I told him about it, they said that it's an actual condition, like you can't have acidic -y things, I think it is. So anyway, these tomatoes I'm okay with because they're more sweeter and not as acidy, so yeah, I love them ones. Um, I then picked up some asparagus. I mean, how you don't get a lot in there, you literally get like six. Um, yeah, I like asparagus. I also picked up some tender stem broccoli. Um, tender stem broccoli is my absolute fave. I prefer this to normal broccoli. I just think it tastes so much nicer in my opinion. Um, I also picked up two packs of avocados. Love, love, love avocados. Um, I have avocados with like avocado on toast with some chili flakes, smoked salmon, um, avocado in salad. There's so many really good dishes um, with avocado, so I love that. I then picked up just a pack of red onions. Again, I feel like onions just go in many dishes. They're always like a little bit of a cupboard essential. And they last for ages. Like, Onions last a lifetime. I had onions in my cupboard that I bought like four weeks ago and me and mum were still using them because they just don't go off. Well, I mean they do eventually. I then picked up some courgettes. So what I normally like to do with courgettes is have like a sort of Mediterranean roasted vegetable. So I'll do courgettes, like some dried tomatoes, put some onion, peppers, put it all on a tray, a little bit of um, like garlic oil and seasoning. Oh my goodness, amazing. Then I picked up some raspberries. Oh, I cannot even tell you how much I've been craving some like fresh like raspberries and strawberries and things. So I got one pack of raspberries and then I accidentally got two packs of strawberries. I only meant to order one pack, but um, I think, do you know when you do that thing when you forget to delete it out of your trolley? So anyway, I've got two packs, but we will use them. These are on the 18th. What are the actual dates then? I'm gonna have to really look at the dates and make sure we use up the things that are going out of date first. So yeah, two packs of strawberries, but that's fine because we'll eat those. Um, I then picked up a pack of pears. Pears, again, another one of my favourite fruits to have as a snack. Like, if I'm hungry in a day and need a snack, I'll just cut up a pear and, yeah, it really satisfies me. I love it when pears are, like, really juicy. I also just picked up a pack of crisp red apples. I love red apples. Like, I prefer red apples to green. 
what is your fave? Let me know. Um, but yeah, I normally like the pink lady ones, but they were really expensive, so I got these instead. Oh, them carrots are not very good. Oh, there's a really moldy one there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, got a pack of wonky carrots. Again, I um, like to have vegetables with most dishes I have in the evening, so I got some of those. And then I got a ton of different potatoes. But man, I did get loads of potatoes. Let me show you. First of all, I got jacket potatoes. Me and mum really like jacket potatoes with um, like corn chili. So there's four potatoes there. So that's two portions of that. So we can have that meal a couple of times. Then picked up some sweet potatoes. I feel like potatoes, even though they have like, let's say, look, 20 for vapor on. Again, potatoes are things that they can keep for like another four to five days. So I feel like during this time, you really need to not be one of them people that look at dates and think, oh my God, it's out of date. Like just have a little bit of common sense, like look at things and think, does it look off? Does it smell off? Because you will find with potatoes that they will last a lot longer than their sell by date. So yeah, I've got some baby roasting sweet potatoes. Um, then picked up some baby potatoes. Love these with a salad. Um, so yeah, I probably have them with like a salad and a few little baby potatoes and also I like baby potatoes chopped up like quite small Put them in the oven with a little bit of oil on and season it. Oh my god, they're so good Then we also just got a big bag of white potatoes. You can do mash with this again Just make like roast potatoes any sort of potato. So we've definitely got enough potatoes to last us for a good few weeks I also got a couple of packets of mint as well because I really wanted some like like a nice fresh drink um, and a mojito. So yeah, I've got the limes though. Oh, I also got some lemons as well. I've got these for like mainly bacon, but sometimes I like a lemon water, so those are good. Then I picked up another couple of bits for sort of salads. So we just have some Italian pasta, spinach and pine nut. I feel like none of this is focusing. That's what it looks like. If you've never had it before, it's so good. And I've got a fruity couscous. Again, just to go on that side of the salad. Then got a beetroot salad. And just picked up a little tub of um, creamy coleslaw too. So yeah, that is all the fruit, veg and salad out of the way with. Right, now we're gonna move on to sort of like fridge and meat. First meat-free thing I managed to get was the Richmond sausages. Now, I've heard amazing things about these. Um, not managed to be able to get them yet, so I'm so excited to try them. Apparently, they are so good, though. So, yeah, picked up the Richmond meat-free sausages. I'll let you know how they are. Um, then picked up a couple of packs of turkey meatballs. I think these was on offer. That's why I got two packs. Um, and I love meatballs. I actually recently just tried the co-op meat-free meatballs. They are so, so good. Again, I couldn't get any meat-free meatballs, so I've had to get these. Um, so yeah, there's some turkey meatballs. I then picked up some smoked salmon. I do love smoked salmon. I then just got some salmon fillets, just two salmon fillets. Then just got a big pack of chicken. Then got some um, turkey rashes, lightly smoked. I've actually never tried these, and my friend Olivia, I'll leave her YouTube actually in the description bar below because she does so many like health and fitness related videos. If you like that sort of thing, go and follow her because she is amazing in that department. Um, and yeah, she always makes this like unreal looking bagel with turkey rashes and um, I thought I'd try them because they're only 32 calories per slice. I did just pick the original ones, but they were out of stock. So they sent me the lightly smoked one instead but yeah these are 32 rashes 32 rashes 32 calories um and do you know what i just thought i'd try them so yeah picked up some of those and um, then just picked up some fish cakes so we have smoked salmon oh no scottish salmon smoked cod haddock fillet with west country cheese center Oh, and then we got a salmon cod fillet with sweet chili centre. By the way, just in case you're wondering where this is all gonna go, my fridge is literally empty at the moment. Like it is empty, there's nothing in my fridge. And um, my freezers are borderline empty too. I've got two freezers. I knew this was happening, guys. So um, back in January, I actually ordered a new freezer. Everyone thought I was going insane. Like, everyone was like, why are you buying a freezer? And I'm like, trust me guys, this is, are you finished? <laughs> I like trust me guys this is gonna happen like there's gonna be a pandemic we're all gonna have to go in a lockdown everyone was like Laura chill but I just knew I just knew it was I was watching this guy so yeah I ordered a new freezer because I was obviously panicking because I thought I'm not gonna be able to go out if this actually does come so yeah got another freezer down there 
Then picked up some turkey mints, just a big pack of turkey mints. Again, it was so hard to get the vegan mints, like all of the corn mints was out of stock. I think I did manage to get one pack. I did see one pack somewhere. If I did, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so again, I had to get some meat mints. Um, then just got some butter for baking, some clover, some chicken and sweet corn soup, um, a couple of just milks. I don't really drink a lot of like normal milk, but my mum does because obviously she's here. So yeah, we've got two milks for her because I just have the oat milk in my coffee and then I'll have like green milk in my tea. I'm okay with that. But on the whole, I just drink um, oat milk. This is the milk I have. The Oatly, I managed to get one of them, so I got one of those. Um, I then just picked up a lemonade and a ginger ale because, star of the show, <laughs> and we got rhubarb and ginger gin. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how much I've been craving this. I mean, craving, I'm not actually like an alcohol person <laughs> normally. I rarely drink. I feel like when you can't have something or just like nip to the shop, you want things more and yeah i've been really missing gin i did manage to get a little bottle that you may have saw in my amazon video but that was a liqueur which is only like 20 percent but this is like 43 percent so it's a lot stronger and i think i prefer this one actually um next up i picked up some cheese now i normally get the cathedral city always like it's always cathedral city if you know you know like, it's my favorite cheese so I normally get the mature lighter one. Again, every single lighter cheese was out of stock. It is mad how much is out of stock online at the moment. So I just got the normal full fat one, which is fine. And then I managed to get a lighter one in a grated format. So I got that. Um, so I love cheese, cheese is life. Um, next up, I picked up some sour cream. Now I love sour cream with like tacos. Oh, chili as well, it was really nice with chili. I then got this 0% fat yogurt, Greek yogurt. This Greek yogurt is honestly the best one ever. I've still not found one that I like as much as this. Um, so with this, I probably have like strawberries, uh, raspberries. I think I actually have a few meringue nests still. Do you know like the little mini ones? I mean, I know they're full of sugar, but you can just like break one and have it as a little bit of a sweet, healthier treat. So yeah, got that. Let's move you down here because we're sort of moving down. Let me put another light on. Okay, next up I picked up just a couple of garlic bread. I honestly am someone that will eat everything in moderation. And if I want a couple of slices of garlic bread with like, let's say a pasta dish, I will have it because I just think life's too short to cut everything out. Um, so if I have that, then like, for example, the next day, I just probably have like a little bit of a healthier day. So yeah, you gotta treat yourself. It's nice to have these things in the freezer as well. You know, for like a Saturday night where I do like to eat a little bit what I want. But I also got a free cheese and garlic pizza bread too. I then picked up a Philadelphia. I did just want a little one for bacon, um, but they only had this one in stock, so I got this. I wanted to have this for like a cream cheese um, filling. Do you know when you do like carrot cake and you make like a cream cheese, oh, I can't think what it's called, frosting, that's it. Um, so yeah, I got that for that. I then also got a couple of packs of mascarpone because I do actually have a chocolate loaf cake in my cupboard. It's actually gone out of date now. It's like two days out of date, but it's fine, it's still soft. So I need to use that up. And what I do with that chocolate loaf cake is I make a chocolate tiramisu. It's honestly the easiest, quickest thing to make. All you need is mascarpone cheese, double cream, tea maria. Is there anything else? I think that's pretty much it. There's not a lot else. So yeah, I'm gonna make a um, chocolate tiramisu. The recipe for that is actually on my Instagram if you wanna check that out because it's unreal. Then I just picked up a couple of hummuses. So I got 30% reduced fat hummus and a red pepper hummus. Again, I just feel like you can never go wrong with hummus. The dates, oh, the dates are quite good actually. End of April, so that's good. Um, but I mainly have this with like carrot sticks, but you can also have it on like pita breads and things like that. I then managed to get hold of my favourite, favourite dairy free yogurts, and these are the Silky Smooth Alpro yogurts. Um, so yeah, there you go. By the way, guys, I just want to um, point out I'm not vegan or anything. Um, like I said, I know I enjoy having like dairy free, meat free alternatives, but I'm not vegan and I'm not vegetarian. I don't class myself with anything like that. I just merely try to cut down where I can on meat um, and dairy, that's it. Then I picked up some double cream, again, just for like baking and things. A ketchup, I did 
think this ketchup is going to be bigger than this, but it's not. It's a little miniature one. I don't really have ketchup very often. My mum's the one that has ketchup. I've never seen anyone have ketchup on so many of their like dishes. She has it on like a roast dinner and everything. It, to me, I just find that a little bit odd, but anyway. Um, I'm more of a mayo and sweet chili sauce gal. Then I picked up some protein Weetabix. Now, I normally have a shake every single morning. That is just what I love. I'm not really a big food person in the morning. I just can't really stomach like a big breakfast. You know how some people have big breakfasts? Like, that for me is just too much in the morning. I love a cold, refreshing shake. Um, but occasionally, I will have like a Weetabix. So I got these protein Weetabix. These are like really good on the macros. So yeah, got those. Okay. I don't know what I think of this new format, by the way, but I just thought it would just be better instead of me, like, zooming my camera around everything. Right, next up, I've got a few spices. If you watch my organisation video, you know I now have a spice drawer, and I was running low on quite a lot of my spices, and I also wanted to pick up ones that I didn't have. So, I got Grand Cinnamon, Smoked Paprika. I have normal paprika, but Smoked Paprika is just different. So, um, yeah, I got some of that. I normally like putting smoked paprika on like sweet potato, fries and things. I also got some hot chilli powder. Now, I don't actually like spice, but when I get the medium chilli powder for my chilli, I feel like it doesn't do anything. It doesn't give it any sort of oomph. So I always get the hot chilli powder, but just put less in. So I've got some of that. I then got Chinese five spice. Just thought this might be okay, like seasoned in chicken or something, so. Yeah, I got that. And then I also got some mixed herbs. Right, now on to some snacks. So, did get quite a few packets of crisps. There is a reason for that. Because me and my mum like complete different crisps. So, for mum, we got her Twiglets. And she likes these oven-baked veg sweet potato with paprika crisps. 40% less fat. They're actually quite healthy crisps. So, oh, and Twiglets are only 99 calories. So, yeah, those are my mum's crisps. And then my crisps, I mean, Monster Munch. If you don't like Monster Munch, we just can't be friends. No, not really. Um, I love Monster Munch. Flaming Heart is the one, followed by pickled onion, roast beef I eat last. So yeah, got some Monster Munch. I also am quite a big fan of Skips. I love prawn cocktail. Um, these are 71 calories, they're not actually too bad. So yeah, I got some Skips. I did actually try um the asda ones recently oh my god don't they are nothing like the real thing seriously just don't even try them i then also picked up some skinny popcorn this is a really good um snack again when you like trying to be healthier so i've got six mini packs sweet and salt 82 calories per pack so yeah just a little healthier sweet treat then picked up some corn cakes oh where is my um, cottage cheese did i even show you that Oh, I, I missed that out. I think I missed that out. I always get this cottage cheese. I don't know if you guys have it in your like Asda or Morrison's or whatever, but it's the Longley Farm one. It is unreal. It is the best cottage cheese ever. Now, I used to get like fat-free, where are I? I used to get a fat-free cottage cheese, but my brother said to me, don't bother because like what they replace it with, you better just to have the normal one. I don't know if that's true. So I always just get the normal one now. Um, and then I have that with corn cakes, sweet chili sauce on top, so good like it's a lovely snack so yeah that's a little snack idea if you don't want like a healthy snack um then picked up some eggs just always with the bacon scrambled eggs so many things you can do with eggs right now i've got quite a lot of bread <laughs> oh my god so first just picked up a multi-seed loaf which is a little bit squashed um i don't really eat a lot of bread but i do now and again like have avocado on toast and stuff so this normally just goes in the freezer so that's that. I then picked up some bagels. Mum loves these cinnamon and raisin sliced bagels. So I've got those for Mum. But I do that like as well. They're not too bad on calories. They're 130 calories per bagel. Um, so if you are someone that likes bagels, these are really nice. I then just picked up a couple of packs of thin normal bagels. Like I said, I watched Olivia's video about what she eats and stuff. And one of the lunches that she always has is like a bagel with them turkey rashes in and they're like really good on like the calories and macros and stuff. So yeah, I thought I could just try that as like a new lunch idea. I'm always looking for new things to try and eat. So yeah, I got a couple of packs of those. So it's one for the freezer. Then just picked up some nan breads as well. Again, I did, I did that thing where I ordered two and I didn't need to order two. 
But you know what? I feel like online food shopping can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. You know when you look in your basket and you don't realise that you put two or something in? You, it's not like when you've got a trolley and you can see what you've got in front of you. So yeah, luckily these got good dates on. Like these ones have got 22nd of the 7th, which is like what? July? So that, that's really good. These ones got to the end of April, so we'll have to use them up first. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of curry sauces already in my cupboard, but I just don't have anything to go with it. And I love lambrets i've also just got some brochet hot dog rolls um so i can have my meat free sausages and a hot dog also just picked up some hot cross buns again mum loves like fruit loaf anything with fruit in mum loves it so i've got those for my mum also picked up some walnut i cannot even tell you like the struggle of getting walnuts at the moment i feel like everybody is doing like a bake-off i really wanted to make a carrot cake but um, my dad just couldn't get me any walnuts from anywhere so um finally managed to get some so i'm really pleased about that i then have another pack of bananas oh i know why i got these ones because these are green these are the ripen at home bananas so because like i said this food shop is going to last me like about four weeks it will Obviously, them bananas will probably only last them ones over there about a week and a half. So, these ones are green. So, these will take, like, at least a week to start ripening. So, yeah, just just ensuring I have my fruit stocked up for a little longer. And, um, right, then we move on to, like, sort of cupboardy thing. Picked up some chopped apricots and some bacon. Um, I also got some Italian chopped tomatoes with garlic and chilli. I then picked up some red kidney beans. Again, these are just, like, my chilies that I make. Um, I just picked up some dumplings as well because mum makes a really nice like chicken casserole. I mean, not that I'm really fancying chicken casserole now. I feel like with the warmer weather, that's completely gone out the window, but hey. Okay, I also picked up a Domino, Domino? Domino. <laughs> Domino meatballs sauce. I don't normally have that one, but yeah, I just thought I'd try it. This is the one actually I normally have for meatballs, tomato and chilli. But um, it was really expensive. It wasn't on offer. It's like two pounds something. So I thought I'm only going to get one of them. This is the one just in case you're wondering. I just feel like it adds more flavour to your meatballs. So got that. Then of course I had to get it. My Maryland cookies. These are my ultimate favourite biscuit dipping in a tea. Then just picked up a balsamic dressing for salad. M&M Krispies. These are for my Saturday night treats. I also picked up some, oh, that's not what I envisioned, hot chilli flakes. Okay, I actually thought they were going to be like flakes. You know when you get like the dried flakes in a grinder? They might be able to work, maybe. Um, so basically, the story behind this is when I have like avocado on toast, I normally like to have like a couple of chilli flakes on top, but only a few. But I don't know how they're going to be. So I'll have to assess that. Um, I then just picked up some dark chocolate, 85% cocoa. Again, primarily got this for bacon. And then I also got this one for bacon as well. There's a lot of bacon going on, as you can see. Um, Milky Bar. I make a wicked lemon drizzle cake, but it has white chocolate on top. Oh my goodness. I don't even normally like lemon drizzle that much, but this lemon drizzle cake I make, guys, is so, so good. It was a recipe that I got from, like, I think it was, like, MasterChef or something, like, years ago that this girl had on there. And it is, to date, like, the best lemon drizzle ever. It's so moist and juicy. Okay, next thing I picked up is some raw cacao nibs. Um, I got these, again, for bacon, <laughs> because they're, like, a healthier chocolate chip. Um, it says you can do a few things with them though, so you could put them in smoothies, breakfast food. Yeah, I was looking at a few recipes and they had these in, so I thought I'd grab some of them because they'll come in useful. I then ordered a couple of chickpeas, there was a lot of healthy recipes that I wanted to make that involved chickpeas. So that's going to be interesting, so I thought I'd try them, them out. Um, and then picked up some more soy sauce, I love this like a little bit on my stir fries. Then picked up some mandarin segments. I really like tin fruit. I love tin fruit. Do you know when you make like a juicy fruit salad with tin fruit, but they literally had none in stock um, except these. So I got some of those. So I quite fancied some. Also picked up some sweet corn, um, coconut milk. Again, saw quite a lot of recipes that involved coconut milk. Um, and also they go nicely in like Thai curries and things like that. So yeah, it's always good just to have a tin of that in. I then also picked up just some custard powder. My mum said apparently that this is like a cupboard essential and I didn't own it. So yeah, haven't got a clue how you actually make custard with powder because I've never done it. So that's something else I'm going to learn this lockdown. That makes me sound really dumb, but I normally just buy the um, tin stuff. So yeah, bought some of that. 
Um, I then picked up just a big bag of brown basmati. Again, they were sold out of like all the packets of um, rice. So yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully it goes nice. Pasta sugar and plain flour. This is like gold dust at the moment, guys. Again, um, I know this, this has been sold out like everywhere, plain flour and pasta sugar because everyone's baking. So I managed to get my hands on some. Um, right, we're nearly at the end. Then pick up some just plain rice crispies. This is again some bacon. Another enchilada kit. I think I have like a fajita kit in there, but I ran out of my enchilada, so I got that. Okay, final few things. So quickly, frozen aisle. Um, oh, I never normally would buy these, but I've been really missing having my corn, like not real chicken. They're like corn sweet and smoky. They're like faux bread chicken things and i used to have them in a wrap and they are unreal can't get them anywhere so i got these instead they're like crispy chicken in batter they're not too bad they're 219 per one they 12 grams of fat not great on the fat but yeah anyway they're these um then some more summer fruits i have these in my smoothie um sort of shake every morning i then got these Cooked chicken strips, hot and spicy. Apparently they're not that spicy though. I read the reviews because I don't do spicy. But I just wanted something that's gonna be quick and easy. I can grab out of the freezer to have in a wrap. So yeah, got those for that. Then I picked up some veggie vegan things, which I'm really excited about because like I said, I've not been able to get a lot at all. Um, I got some cheese and onion crisp bakes. These are really, really good. I've had these before. Um, so I normally just have them with like veg and maybe like some sweet potato. I then got these sweet potato um edmami burgers now i did actually try some sweet potato burgers from aldi the other week that my dad managed to get me and they were so so good so i thought i'd try these ones then got these ah ah these are what i've got for my alternative for my wrap meat free chicken style burgers coated with a crispy golden crumb so these are 100 vegan anybody's had these let me know but i did read the reviews and apparently they're really good so yeah, I was going to use those for my um, wrap. Then picked up an apple strudel. Since my mom has lived here, we've been having puddings constantly. I'm going to be rolling out of this lockdown, guys. So yeah, picked up one of those. Then just picked up some petit pois. Um, oh, meat-free mince. This was the only mince that they was able to give me. It's an alternative. I did try to get the fresh one, but they didn't have it. So at least I've got one. And then I also got some honey roast parsnips for us to leave dinner. Right, that is everything food-wise. I also just picked up some like cleaning stuff that I've been after and trying to get hold of. So, um, first off, Comfort. This is like my favorite fabric conditioner ever. It is the Comfort Perfume Deluxe Ultra Concentrated Heavenly Nectar. Then picked up some surf capsules. I actually meant to get, I think it was like this and this or this and this. And I think I left these in my basket. I did it again. I don't know what I was doing with this shop. I felt very flustered. <laughs> so yeah, we're stocked up for a while. So I got the surf capsules. Then I got the um, the liquid version of it. So the fragrance, by the way, guys, is Tropical Lily and y Yilang Yilang. I never know how to say that. <laughs> and then I got a freaking house. Another word that's hard to say leashy and passion fruit um again washing capsules i meant to chuck these out my bag but they stayed in oh and then finally managed to get some more method now it did actually say this was out of stock so i didn't know whether i was going to be able, able to get this so i'm so pleased to have that because i did actually put this in as a replacement but then they must have got that back in stock i don't even know honestly it really confuses me how these online shops work because like i said i thought i um I thought one of these was out of stock, so then I put that in my basket, but then I've managed to end up with all three. Um, yeah, Citrus Shine, Morrison's Antibacterial Spray, got some of that. Oh, my favourite half pick, the green one, we are running out of that. Uh, oh, I've just run out of this, Sif Cream, oh, I love Sif. Then I got some Febreze um evolution infinity refill this is my favorite one it's carrying fruits oh my god it smells unreal so yeah i got a refill because that's about run out as well some bin bags socks up on them because we go through so many and then got some kitchen roll now you know me i don't actually really use kitchen roll i use reusable cloths but mum doesn't like them she can't seem to get the hang of reusable cloths so this is for her when she does the cleaning because for some reason she can't do it without the kitchen roll. So, yeah, that is that. 
Oh, there's one more thing I forgot to show you. I had put these in the um, freezer because I didn't want them to defrost. Picked up two packs of ice creams. So I got some Soleros because these are only 98 calories. And then I picked up some Mars ones as well. These are like my fave. I always have one of these when I'm on holiday. And I do really like Soleros as well. And for like 98 calories, they're really good. So yeah, got them. I'm going to pop them back in. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of this food shop. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this sort of quarantine lockdown special food shop. Um, I know you guys normally like watching these sorts of videos and seeing what I pick up. So yeah, that is everything. A lot of money was spent. But like I said, this is going to last me and my mum probably around about four weeks because mum's really good with like how she uses food and um, like anything left over like she'll make into a soup and things like that so it's been really useful and beneficial like learning how to sort of utilize food as well so yeah that is everything really hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching if you have enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye